Uh, what's up, YouTube? Um, so as everyone knows, the Destiny patch is coming soon, and I wanted to basically do kind of like a checkpoint on where my account is, uh, since it's a major update and there's going to be a lot of differences before and after. Um, I thought it was a good time to kind of take a step back and look at my account, see where uh, everything is, and talk a little bit about like what I'm currently working on and what I'm currently working toward in terms of progression for my main, which is my Adele right here, um, and also the other characters on my account that are bossing mules or like second second mains, etc. Uh, so yeah, I uh, wanted to do that. I'll start off with the gear, since obviously that's what uh, kind of the majority of gear reviews are really about. Um, so, you know, I have three totems here. I have the Goon totem from that event, um, and then I run the two Afterlands totems that give strength and dex, respectively. Um, Suppering, 22-27%. Um, Connor Ring, 21-30%. Uh, let me turn down the volume a little bit. Um, 22 reinforced with 30%, uh, kind of a weird combination of 12, 6, and 12, but you know, that's what we hit. Uh, I have a Roar 3 right now, um, and then I replace the Roar 3 uh, when I'm, you know, going for a, third, a fourth ring. Uh, with this ring, it's got a hybrid line that I use when I'm farming. Um, so it doesn't provide that much of a damage boost when I'm just DPSing over burst, but it, you know it's it's better than obviously having a ring with no stats on when I'm not actually using the roar. So in some bosses I switch to it. Um, I don't have any other uh, significant Oz rings. Um, these are all of my roars. As you can see, I have about five of them in addition to the one that I use. Um, haven't been able to hit a four yet, but I also haven't been actively running Oz. I have a tower boost. All of this is crap. Um, I have a reflective ring, which is nice, uh, but yeah, um, at some point, uh, especially after Destiny, I'll go back and start um, running Oz again, but for now I'm just focusing on farming. Um, here's my cup, no luck with a book drop yet, but 52 for attack and 5% all stats pretty good. Um, my pendant is 22 with 27%, uh, 24 and 3 on the flame. So flame's pretty much there, uh, and the potential is almost there. Not touching this for a while. Uh, Sweet water is transposed with 70 and, 70 and six with 30 dex. Um, it's 30% and it's 21. Uh, here's my weapon. It's uh, got a decent amount of strength and all stat on it in addition to tier six attack and tier six damage. 70% uh, boss and 10% attack with a 7% boss damage uh, mag soul on it. Obviously not touching this because I'm going to be liberating in a few months. Um, my belt, uh, really happy with this belt um, in terms of the potential. It's double prime uh, and 22. Uh, flame is decent too. It's got a 12 and 4. Uh, probably not touching that for a while. Hat is 22, 76 and 4 flame. Um, Skill cooldown, minus two with 18% strength. Uh, ideally, I would have like a minus three or minus four hat because I like the play style where I'm using my skills more often because of the cooldown, but um, obviously minus two and 18% is also is already really good and worthy of settling for. Um, if I really want to, farther down, I might, uh, you know, black cube for uh, three and 9%, but We'll see. Uh, Sweetwater Tattoo. I have a really good flame on this that I just randomly hit at 51 and 2. Uh, it's 21 and it's uh, 3 line. Uh, kind of unfortunate that this is no longer going to be bested slot, uh, but you know, we're just in Berserk uh, waiting room anyway, so it's okay. This is a transposed monocle. Um, it was 80 and 4 pre transposed, now it's 104. Um, it's 30%. And it's 21. Uh, I'm not touching this again until I finally tap an eye patch. Uh, as you can see, I've boomed two of them already, and then I recently got this one from this past week actually. Uh, and I'm gonna start with the sunshiny and see if I can finally go um, past 20 stars. Uh, my last one boomed at, uh, I think it boomed at 18, but it hit like, it failed 19 to 20 like four or five times. And so this was kind of a painful one. 
Um, and obviously, I'm lucky to have multiple shots at it and have a third eye patch already. Um, but yeah, until it goes, it doesn't really matter. So we're in Pitch Boss waiting room for that. Top, I recently 22 would this. It's 64 and 6 in terms of the flame, and it's three line with an all stat line in there, which is nice. Um, pants, I recently, this was 21 until yesterday, I boomed it. Um, and it just would not go back. Uh, it's 64 and 5, and I'm settling on 17 right now because I, I did make the gains of going from 21 to 22 on both the hat and the top. Um, so, you know, there are a decent amount of gains there, and I figured it's just not worth tapping um, off events to any higher star when I could be saving for shiny. So this is 17 for now. I don't really care about the damage loss. Uh, shoes are 21, 91, 5, and 5. Not bad. 30% uh, in terms of the pot. Uh, earrings are 22, 32, and 3. Uh, the flame actually drops like that. So I was really happy about that one. Um, I'll fix the pot one day, but for now, this is what it is. Uh, shoulder is at 18. Um, I tapped this once yesterday. It was 17. I tapped it to 18, and I just settled. Um, it's got 30% uh, strength. Uh, glove is two-line crit with 10% strength. I was really, really happy about this one. Um, I literally just threw... It, it took me about 40 build to hit two-line uh, crit the first time and it was two line crit with HP. So, you know, the third line was just completely useless. Um, but then uh, this past cube sale, I just decided to throw like, like 12 black cubes on this or something. And I hit two line crit with strength, which is a massive uh, boost. And also um, just a very expensive upgrade if you're actually trying to roll for it. And I just happened to hit it pretty luckily, not pretty lucky, it was insanely lucky. So I'm really happy about this and my gloves are basically done until at some point I decide to tap this to 22 perhaps. Um, my emblem is three line attack. I did this on the last cube sale. Uh, Crystal Ventus badge, seven day monster Parker. My uh, Pino secondary, this is definitely one of the, the, the pride and joys of my account. It's got the three line attack with the double prime line in there. So yeah, this was super, super lucky. I got this a long time ago and I obviously haven't ever touched it since. Uh, my cape's currently at 16. Um, yesterday, my shoulder and cape were both at 17. Uh, I each tapped, I tapped each of them once. Um, you know, one went up, one went down. Um, well, this one I tapped multiple times until it like got to 16, but um, like it, I didn't want to continue tapping it because once it drops to 15, it becomes very expensive since you have to safeguard. Uh, the flames on all my arcanes are pretty standard. They're not like crazy or anything, but they're worthy of settling for now. And then the heart is three-line as well. Uh, my arcane symbols are obviously done. And then my sacred symbols are coming along. I'm at eight and six, 140 sac. Uh, so yeah, that's it for uh, the equips. I don't have any pitch boss. Um, I guess I'll go over maybe like drop gear a little bit too. So um, I have this triple prime hybrid with 13 strength which is it's crazy i just happened to hit this um so basically yeah when i when i farm and stuff i run all of these let me just equip them and then it'll be easier for me to talk about them yeah probably wings of fate as well so this is a double uh this is a hybrid line this is just item drop with 15 strength on it uh, this is a hybrid line, um, and this is a hybrid line. So that was three hybrids already. Um, this is just drop. This is just drop. Um, and this is a hybrid line. So basically I have, um, oh, and, and this has a hybrid line. That's just drop. So basically I have five hybrids, which means that, uh, so I have nine item, I have nine item drop uh, lines on my nine accessories where five of them also have a meso line on them. So I have the full like 100% meso and I also have um, 180 drop. So that's not 200 drop of course. I've never been able to hit a double drop line unfortunately, but um, you know this at least guarantees that when I farm, which I still do a lot of on my Adele, uh, I have a ton of drop rate. Basically, if you look at this, um, I have 221 just from the equips 
I also have, oh, so I'll go over inner ability. My inner ability, 19 boss, uh, 15 meso, and 13 item drop. Uh, so this 15 meso I'm, I'm keeping like forever. Um, and I, I like that it's 15 because um, obviously it's not as good as 20, but the fact that I sacrifice 5% meso, but I have, um, you know, 19% extra boss damage is really nice. Um, and like I'm good enough of a farmer on Adele where I think my skills in farming make up for the difference in uh, meso. And I, I know that for a fact, just comparing rates. Um, and then the item drop is uh, something that I have for now because the biggest thing gating my account is actually the fact that I don't have any boss damage familiars. So um, that's also re the reason why I like to farm with so much drop rate on because with this, I have 221, uh, which becomes, and, that, and that's with holy symbol. So it's 221, also have the 5% drop rate from Wings of Fate uh, because I have it set up to be extra item drop instead of extra meso. Um, cause I want to maximize my item drop and, uh, with it, this is 221 plus my large drop familiar, which gets it to 321. And then with the WAP, it's 341. So usually I'm farming with 341 drop, um, which gets me quite a few nodes, droplets and familiar cards. Um, so I'll go to familiars next. Uh, actually I haven't shown the stat window with all my damage gear on yet. So I'll, I'll do that first. Okay, so that's all, everything. Um, so this is what my stat window looks like. Um, th these are what my hypers are when I'm bossing. Uh, this is not optimized. I think uh, it could be optimized a little bit better, especially after the event ends. Um, the IED was optimized around when I had uh, an extra line of IED on my emblem. It used to be 21 and 30. So the IED probably should be higher if it were optimized, but I'm just too lazy to do it right now. Also, after the event buff goes away, I'll need to re-optimize for sure, because um, it'll be a significant loss of IED, but that's okay for now. Um, but yeah, basically I'm like 51K. Uh, I used to be 52K with this ring on when this was still 21, um, but you know, I boomed it. So obviously lost a significant chunk in stat. Um, also my Legion, well, before I look at that, um, so yeah, in the roar, I'm like just under 50, uh, just under 51k. Um, so if we look at my Legion, I'm almost at 8.5. I haven't like pushed to actually hit it. This is just through um, leveling my characters as I do things like Monster Park and like set them up to be bossing meals, etc. Um, so what I'm currently doing, oh, wait, also this is, yeah, this is, uh, this was for my Kana. When I was doing bosses there, let's just switch this back to attack. This will be int, this will be magic attack. Okay. Yeah, so actually with that, my stat gets boosted up to 51K. So I am 51K in Roar still, um, if I have the block over here. I'm also not using my jet link, so that would increase it further, whatever. Um, but yeah, so basically what I'm doing right now is I have these blocks in crit rate. Um, I was told that once you hit 8.5k, which I'm close to hitting, um, it actually becomes more worthwhile to run buff duration on inner ability um, than have crit rate. I used to have 20 crit actually as my third line, but I rolled off of it uh, because I want item drop for now uh, so I can get more familiar cards because I'm gated by that. And then also because eventually I want to roll for 38 buff duration anyway, because this is a one-to-one -one correspondence. And so it's more efficient to put Legion blocks into crit rate than in buff duration. And that's where I was gonna start filling in stuff anyway. Uh, so right now, basically when I run, uh, I have this, cause I have event buffs. I just throw in the blocks into this section. I have event, I have event buffs um, that are pushing up my, what's it called, crit rate. Um, so I don't need Legion blocks to hit a hundred crit. And then so I put them all into buff duration to increase the length of my uh, Angelic Buster link skill and it allows me to fit in, you know, more of my burst into that duration. Um, and that helps a significant amount. Uh, with Destiny, I should be able to hit the 8.5 pretty soon, especially with all of the extra EXP events, uh, all of the extra um, level up events, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, not level up events, but like, you know, growth pods and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, 8.5 is very close. And once I have that, it'll become even more worthwhile to have it set up the way I do. Um, so that's Legion. 
Um, raid power is coming along nicely. Uh, this isn't optimized because I have a bunch of uh, characters that don't have like star forced rings on and stuff like that because they have event rings or whatever. But this will just go up over time. Um, once the KMS Legion changes come through, I'll pretty much be 9k for free. So that'll be nice. Uh, but yeah, that's Legion. Um, let's see. So in terms of what I actually want to upgrade, uh, biggest gaps are obviously the pants because they just boomed them. Uh, so I'm going to tap this to 21. Uh, so when, when Shiny comes, this is my plan. My plan is to get this to 21, this to 21, this to 20, oh, sorry, and shoulder to 21. These are the last three items that I need to work on to get to at least 21 or higher. And beyond that, I don't really care too much. I do want to hit all 22s on my Adele eventually, but I don't want to hit 22s on items that I'm going to replace. So what I may do um, is I may push my arcanes first. So I might go to 22 arcanes before 22ing a bunch of these other things. And the reason for that is because I see these as much more permanent items um, compared to something like a monocle, which as soon as I 22 an eye patch, I'm gonna replace, right? Same thing with the tattoo. This isn't even best in slot anymore. Um, and I wanna replace this with the berserk if I ever get one and I, if I'm ever able to tap it. It just doesn't really feel worthwhile to tap to 22 when I can clear all the content in the game, even solo, uh, once I'm liberated and I have my arcanes at 21 or higher. So from my perspective, I'd rather 22 my arcanes so that I'm done with my arcanes and my Ar Adele and I can actually start buying arcanes um, on my other characters and that would be really nice. Right now I don't feel like I can do that because you know droplets are obviously finite and they're a limited resource and I don't want to use them to buy like a weapon on like a third character when I haven't even finished 20 like 21 or 22 arcanes on my Adele. So I want to 22 my arcanes on my Adele um, and hopefully I can do that um, relatively soon if shiny is uh, goes goes well, then that that's going to be um, the outcome of it, uh, hopefully. But uh, there's some other items I want to 22 as well. Um, obviously, the Kana's ring, it, while it may be three line with that all stat line in there, it's 21, and ideally I'd be able to swap to a slime ring. Um, so I have a few backup slime rings right now, and um, because I don't plan on touching the Kana ring ever again. Um, especially with the fact that you can get an ET, you can whatever. Um, I want to basically use uh, you know, one of these four Kana rings or one of these two Meister rings to get to 21, transfer over to Sup ring, and then get it to uh, transfer over to Slime ring and then tap the Slime ring to 22. So my goals are gonna be 21 here, 21 here, 21 here, uh, 21 at least here. Um, I wanna go 22 and then potentially 22 here as well on shiny um, and if that all works out then I'll start pushing arcanes to 22 one at a time so yeah we will see how that goes um, in terms of potentials there's a lot of stuff that's like you know 27 out of 30 or 30 out of 33 and from my perspective like especially with these like uh, non like non permanent items it's just not worth pushing them at some point if there's a cube sale I might you know, push my Galux since I'm never going to replace those to 20 uh, to 30. Um, three of my Galux are currently at uh, 27 out of 30 right now. And same thing with the Arcanes. I have two of them that are currently at 30 out of uh, 33. So that might be the play. Um, I'll show the uh, the storage for a sec. So here's the storage. Um, these are the familiars I'm working on. I'm just farming MF3 like crazy in my Kana, but I have this many droplets. Uh, so how much is that? That's 911. Okay, so it's like 1100 right now, um, which honestly is not a lot, right? It's like 11 backups, um, not even. And so, yeah, that's the reason why I'm keeping, I'm gonna continue to farm and I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna use up any of these droplets buying arcanes on my other characters. I only have 23 bill in my storage um, across my account total. This is because I spent 33 bill yesterday um, <laughs> to blow up my pants. Uh, but um, every single meso that I make from here on out, I'm gonna save for shiny. And it should be a lot because especially with the 
with the bossing crystal changes I'm gonna be making a lot of money every week from bossing um, and I'll show you the bossing mules uh, next well actually I need to show the familiars so here are my familiars these are the ones I'm leveling up uh, but this is what I currently run when I do bosses literally because I don't have anything better I have 35 IED oh this is the healing stuff um, so I have 35 ID with heal. So this one's nice. I'm, you know, if I ever need ID, I'm gonna keep using this one. Uh, I have a he large heal with large item drop, which is also nice. I can just keep the large heal on and also not have to swap familiars. Um, and then this one's large to nearby allies and small H party heal. So this one's really nice for healing. Um, but I do not have a single boss damage familiar. I have a bunch of 30 IEDs. I have like another 30 ID. Uh, and then another 30 IED here, so if I wanted I can run 95 IED But I don't have a single boss damage familiar and I don't have a single attack percent familiar um, In the entire history of my account. I've never gotten a single one And so I'm just hard gated by that right now because I could easily have like an extra 90% boss damage uh, even if I just hit like 330s um, and I'm just I'm just down bad. I'm just down bad for familiars um, so that's what I'm currently working through. Um, just hopefully gonna farm as much as I can and get as many familiars as I can um, and just hopefully hit soon. I, I, I really need to hit soon. And that's also the reason why I'm level 273, which is because I've spent all of my totems on my Adele ever since hitting 270 in Limina. Like I have not tried to push EXP a single time because I need familiars. And even though I'm already kind of out of the level range for it, I'm still gonna do it all the way up to 275. And as soon as Destiny hits and Kish nerf happens, I'm gonna be back to farming totems on my Adele um, up to 275. So, yep, that is the unfortunate part about that. Uh, but, you know, we can move on to uh, some of the other characters. Um, I'll go over kind of briefly where they're all at just through this screen, because I don't wanna go um, like log on to every single one of my characters or whatnot. So yeah, uh, Kana is level 259. It's gonna hit 260 soon, uh, just from farming. Um, f f I funded my Kana, Kana to be both a bossing mule and a far farmer. Um, so right now it clears up to a normal slime uh, pretty easily, um, which is nice and make a decent, a more decent amount of Mesa off of this character every week. And that's like not even uh, optimizing any of the potential lines for stat or anything like that. It's like full 16 since it does have two arcane fans, uh, full 16 star items, um, excluding things that go up, don't go up to 16. Uh, and so yeah, I can easily make this character stronger, but we'll have to see what the Kana nerfs look like before I choose to invest in it. Uh, my Ho-Young, my Ho-Young is really strong for how little I've invested into it. Um, it has a three line attack emblem. It has 70 boss and 10% attack on its arcane fan which I got as a drop. And it also has uh, two line attack and one line IED uh, on its secondary. So it's like nine useful lines of uh, WSE. Um, and besides that, it's just like 16 stars and everything, like barely two line stat on most of the equips. Uh, and I don't plan on pushing them any further for a while. Uh, the nodes aren't even close to being finished on this character. Like I have like level 10 skill nodes. And so it, this could easily be a lot stronger. I just haven't decided to push it because it already clears up to normal slime perfectly fine. Um, this is originally what I wanted to be my second main, but after playing some other classes, I've also become a little bit torn because there's a lot of really cool other classes out there. So I'm not fully sure yet. Um, my Cadena is my fourth highest level character. Uh, this is one of the ones I'm considering uh, pushing as a second main instead of my Ho Young, just because Cadena is so fun and the sk skill ceiling is so high. Um, but yeah, my Cadena is like full 16s. Um, it has an arcane uh, weapon as well. Got a lucky drop from H Lucid uh, on one of the carries. And so that's another reason to push it because it already has an arcane wep. Um, but yeah, I just really like this class. I think it's a lot of fun. This clears up to uh, Enlomian right now in a decent amount of time. Uh, again, with like relatively minimal funding. Skill notes are not even close to max, although the boost notes are just because Kadena's boost notes are so easy. 
Um, next, my Shadower. Uh, I recently sw swapped this to Shadower. If you've watched any of my bossing meal videos, this used to be a dual blade for the longest time. I just swapped to Shadower um, and I hit a crazy potential on the shield. I'm actually gonna log on to this character just to show the potential in a sec. Um, and this class, uh, especially with post destiny buffs and revamp, I really like the concept of Shadower and how the playstyle looks. And so I'm curious to see how it plays after Destiny, uh, and if it, this is a really sick class, and I'm gonna push it. Um, so as you can see, I like play a bunch of thief classes, even though my main is a warrior. Uh, then I have my Kane. Kane is also a really fun class for me. Uh, definitely my favorite Dex class in the game, I think. Um, at least that I've played so far. Uh, and so, yeah, my cane's level 222, it's in a decent spot. I've been trying to push it, like push levels on it very slowly, just doing like Monster Park and like dailies or whatever, uh, just because it needs a lot of node slots. Um, so this might be a character that I uh, continue to throw like growth potions on um, and stuff like that, but that's that. Uh, my Hato, obviously I'm gonna eventually push this to 250 for the crit damage legion, but for now it's just where it is. Um, I do find this class to be really fun. Um, I have Phantom Blade maxed on it, and I have boosts. I have like the, the the six trios, or not six trios. I have the four trios with the six skills on them, um, all like boosted to a decent amount. Uh, nodes are kind of painful on this character, so I haven't dumped a ton in here, but that's okay. Um, and right now, this clears. Oh yeah, uh, Shadow Work clears up to an end loam really comfortably. Uh, Kane is almost there. I don't think my Hayato is almost there yet, um, but Kane is definitely almost to end Lomian level. Uh, I don't think Hayato is there yet, but it's also close with just a little bit more funding. This is my second Kana, I don't play it, it's, it's whatever. Uh, my Battle Mage, uh, Battle Mage used to be my main before I quit Reboot for the first time. And so this class benefits from the fact that I have a, uh, a Ghost Ship Exorcist badge on it, a potable badge. Uh, and it's also one of my favorite classes in the game. Uh, probably my favorite uh, int class, my favorite mage in the game. So this may also be a character that I push. Uh, I'm just really not sure at this point. Then I have my arc. Oh yeah, and all of these are like full 16s. Um, I, I'm a 16 gamer just because 17 is way more expensive than 16. 16 is obviously just free when you tap it on 5, 10, 15 events. Um, so at some point, if I do... Uh, play these classes more and I decide that I want to push them in terms of the content that they can do then at those points I will uh, you know start pushing their items to 17 but for now all of my mules besides the one the top five um, up to my shadow are full 16 none of, them, none of them have any 17 star items yet uh, battle mage uh, then my arc also level 220 uh, Lara's a 220 but I never play this class anymore um, but yeah, my arc is 220, this clears up to Akechi, this clears up to Akechi, CPAP and Akechi. Um, Hero also clears up to CPAP and Akechi. I might swap Hero to something else. Um, I haven't decided yet. Uh, I know Dark Knight's supposed to be really good after the revamp, um, but I personally don't like the playstyle from what I've seen. I'd have to actually like play it to, to know for sure, but I personally find Hero a little bit boring. Um, but that will also depend on the revamp. We'll see how it is. Um, and honestly, I might swap to Paladin to just, just to like dick around and see how it is. But yeah, I mean, this is my hero. It clears up to a CPAP and a catchy really comfortably, and it can do end loam probably pretty soon. Maybe with the Destiny buffs, it could just shoot to the place where it can clear end loam. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, this is also a good mule. I don't have my Aaron. Uh, I haven't started running bosses on this yet, um, but it's there. Um, this is obviously also going to get buffed in Destiny. Uh, then I have these are just you know Link mules. I don't plan on playing any of them. Um, I have my Demon Slayer, which I do do weekly bosses on. Um, this guy is noted up. Uh, probably has the highest level nodes in terms of boost nodes and skill nodes for any of my mules besides my like literally all of my characters besides my Adele, my Kana just because I know that this class is insanely good um, and it's gonna get buffed more in Destiny and the post-Destiny revamp or the post-Destiny rebalance patches even despite being like already the best class in the game so yeah I'm definitely gonna push this up uh, from the perspective of like 
levels and whatnot and gear just because I know it's insanely good and, and it is fun to play. Uh, Mercedes, I actually do really enjoy Mercedes' play style. It's, it's a pain in the ass to train, um, but that, and that's why I haven't trained it, but I do really like the play style. I like the play style of combo classes and classes with a lot of mobility. And this becomes like a full on three minute burst class uh, after the Destiny uh, Destiny patch like rebalances. So I have faith in Mercedes's class. Oh, by the way, all the classes I've been pointing out besides like the ones I don't give a shit about, Link, Link skill meals and whatever, um, all the ones that I run weekly bosses on have like four set Golux. Even my Aaron, Aaron which I haven't used at, for a weekly bosser yet. Um, I have four set Golux on it, four set Golux, four set Golux. Uh, same thing with my Buccaneer, which I'm really excited for. Um, this one's styled after L Luffy from One Piece, if it's not immediately obvious to you. It's named Red Rock, because that's one of Luffy's attacks. Uh, also, my name is Rock, so, you know, kind of felt fitting. But yeah, the Buccaneer, I'm really s excited to play the revamp buff Buccaneer, because I think the, the aesthetics of it are really cool. Um, Shade, I'll push this to 250 one day. And then Fire Poison Mage, which is the last of my boss mules. Um, I personally like uh, like constant DPS classes as like a concept. I know like I play classes that are burst classes uh, for some of my strongest, but like I didn't really have a concept of DPS versus burst when I was first starting out. I just played classes that I thought looked cool, um, which is why I have like classes like Adele and Ho Young being really high. Uh, but moving forward, I do want to play more classes that are like DPM focused. And so that's why um, I am not popping on the bandwagon of Ice Lightning, which most of my friends are, uh, but I want to play a Fire Poison Mage instead. And that's why I have this, uh, which I will love to play once the Destiny changes hit. And I think that's it for my boss mules. Yeah, everything else is just standard, bunch of level two, 200s. Um, oh, my jet as well, that'll go, to two, uh, that'll go to 250 for the crit damage link at some point. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to Terra Burn for Destiny yet. Uh, I might do like Cannoneer. Uh, I might do... I might do Cannoneer. I might do Dark Knight. And I might do Pathfinder um, slash Marksman. But I have not decided yet. Um, but currently, um, you know, I already have plenty of characters to play as weekly boss meals and I make a ton of money from them I mean this is like obviously there's the main but up to up to up to end slime up to end slime and loam and loam uh C Papakechi C Papakechi everything is C Papakechi from here this point forward C Papakechi C Papakechi C Papakechi uh I haven't done that yet but soon uh C Papakechi yeah, so just based off of like those characters, I end up making like uh, something like seven bill a week, maybe a little bit more. I'd have to check my spreadsheet. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I make like over seven bill a week and that's pre-crystal price change. So after crystal price change that we don't know exactly what the prices are gonna be yet. Um, I still have hope that they'll make it dynamic, but um, at least from the test server, it doesn't appear that way, um, but we'll see. I do want it to be a dynamic, even though the non-dynamic version benefits my account now because I want to push these characters further into the game and I want to be rewarded for doing so. Um, so hopefully they'll be dynamic, but even if it's not, even if it's just a, from a 3x to a 5x change, um, I'll be making significantly more money, like over, it's going to be like 11, like 11 bill per week or something like that. And that's like without making any of my characters stronger than they currently are. And obviously they are going to become stronger just through the revamp, through the rebalances, and through me continuing to, to fund them. Um, and they're just going to continue to make more and more money. Um, I also have more boss meals to come online if I need them. And so, yeah, going to be making a ton of money from boss meals. Definitely going to be eating good from that perspective. And I don't really feel like the Kish nerf is going to hurt me all that much. Um, so I'm excited for that change, but I do hope that it comes through as dynamic prices as opposed to the, the 5x over 3x. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm going to be hitting 8.5 soon, of course, and that's just going to come naturally from when I push these classes. Uh, once my Adele hits 275, and assuming Kana gets nerfed really badly to the point where it's like not worth 
investing super hard into. Um, I will probably go from popping totems on my Adele to popping totems on my Ho Young, since Ho Young is in like Esfera Plus and pretty soon hits Moonbridge. Ho Young makes great Meso rates um, and just has insane mobbing in general. Uh, it'll be nice to get this to 250 um, and uh, just by training it, I'll be able to get more familiars and fund my Adele that way. As soon as I hit you know, my boss damage familiars on my Adele, uh, I can also push this to 280 uh, training in like Arcus or whatever. But until then, I don't really want to push this any further. Um, and then I'm also thinking instead of Ho Young, if I like Shadower enough, I can use Shadower to farm instead. And obviously, Shadower has the innate Meso uh, buff that's unique to its kit that allows it to like pass uh, the base, you know, 120% Meso you can get off of equips and then also inner ability. So Shadower farming might be the play, just because I know you can get insane rates off of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have plenty of gains to be made from a level perspective, just because I do want to hit like 250 crit damage mules at some point. We're going to get the 250 hyper burns in six months. Uh, I need to do more farming uh, on characters where I can get familiar cards, so I can actually get 30 boss or more on my Adele. And yeah. I think I'm in a pretty good spot for Destiny, and um, yeah, with the crystal changes, no matter what it's going to be, I'm going to be making so much more money just from bossing every week. Uh, I'll be able to retain more of my sanity from not having to farm for endless hours. Um, not that I do that that much. Uh, I haven't really farmed that much. I'll show my achievements, actually. Wait, where are my achievements? I keep remembering other things that I haven't shown yet. Dude, I don't remember where achievements are. Uh, here they are. Okay, so in terms of Star Force, uh, I am currently at. Where is it again? Here it is. So I'm currently at 369. Um, and with my mules being relatively strong, uh, a decent chunk of this is spent on my mules. I estimate around 60 bill. Might be like between. It's gonna. It's between 50 and 60. So on my Adele, it's like probably around 300, 310-ish. Um, so not too bad. Um, hopefully my luck moving forward in terms of getting my other two arcanes to 21 and then eventually to 22 um, isn't too bad. But um, yeah, so far it's been, it's been I, I was really lucky getting to 21. And then once I started to push 22s, um, obviously some of my 21s boomed many, many times. Uh, so, you know, it all balances out in the end. I don't really think Star Force cost matters until you hit your final goal, which for me, like, is going to be full 22s on my Adele. And so we'll see if I'm, you know, closer to 370 as I am now, or if I'm closer to 1T if I get really unlucky with the 21 to 22 coin flip. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm currently at, like, 123 booms. Uh, not that many. But, um, you know, hopefully more of these are going to be like my pants and fewer of them are going to be like arcanes. It's just all in God's hands moving forward. But yeah, um, that's it for my account. Uh, the short summary is I need more familiar cards. I need to hit 30, uh, 30 boss, 40 boss, 35 boss, whatever it is. I need boss damage familiars. And until then, I'm just hard stuck at the level of strength that I'm at. Um, so hopefully the combination of Shiny Star Force, uh, getting boss damage familiars, and liberating my weapon uh, will get me into the true end game where I can finally start soloing all of the bosses comfortably. Right now I'm like, like I could solo, like I soloed Will uh, for liberation, that was my latest li liberation mission, so I still have Lucid and Vihilo, so um, you know, pretty close to liberating, but I've soloed Will, um, and I solo like up to H Lucid every week. Um, but I want to be able to solo like, you know, Vihilla, Sea Gloom, Hard Dark Nell uh, comfortably, you know, not like super sweaty, like 20 minute plus run. I want to be able to do it in like a comfortable amount of time and a reliable way where I don't have to like fail it like a couple times each week, etc. because it just takes so long. And if I play badly, I don't clear. Um, I'm not a very like, 
I'm not super good at this game or anything like that. I don't presume to be. Um, and so, yeah, I needed to be a little bit more comfortable to feel good about like running them every week and being able to swap drop gear in them so I can actually potentially get the pitch boss items that they provide, etc. But yeah, like eventually I want to be able to solo them um, and I should be able to provided that the upgrades that I have coming up uh, play out the way that I want them to. So that's it. And the rest of my account is just gonna gradually level up too. Uh, I'll just exit to character screen so you can see my my mules and all of their what am I doing? And all of my in all of their glory. Yeah, so this is these are my mules. Thank you, Cash Shop Transfer Event, for allowing me to make them all look decent instead of you know with like default um, CRA top and bottom or like whatever. Uh, so yeah, Adele, Ho Young, Kadena, Kane, Shadower, Kana, Hayato, Hero, Battle Mage, Ark, Demon Slayer, Mercedes. Then I got Aaron, Buccaneer, Shade, Jet, and Fire Poison Mage. And that's all I got so far. Um, I mean, it's already a lot, and like these are pretty much ready to run bosses. As soon as they dump some more nodes on them, they're like right now they, they haven't even, these guys haven't even done fifth job advancement. Um, so we're not quite ready yet, but that's where my nodes are going to be fu uh, funding moving forward. So yeah, that's that. That's it for my account review. Um, I know I've just like rambled through a bunch of different topics, but I wanted to do this for myself so I know like. Uh, this is where I am in the game before this like really milestone patch is about to drop and later I can look back and see how much progress I made. Yep, okay, back to farming. Gotta farm before Kishnerf happens. Peace out guys.